Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about a pitfall that happens when you have a class that owns another object through its pointer. What do I mean by that? Here is example of this. We have a class person, and this person has a private data member which is a pointer to a string p name. And in this person's constructor, it creates a new string object with this name. And in the person's destructor, it deletes that p name. So this is what I mean by uh, one class is owning another class uh, by pointer. In this case, the person owns the string through its pointer, the p name. Note that if the person has a pointer of p name, but it is not responsible of creating and destructing of the object of p name then this person is not owning that object of p name it merely has acquaintance with that object of p name and this person also have a print name function which prints out the name and in the main function i created a vector of person called persons and then I create a person whose name is George and push it back into the persons, the vector. And since I'm using pushing push back, so the person start back function will return a reference to the last person in the vector, namely the person George. And then I invoke the print name function from that person. So this code looks so innocent. I create a person, push it into vector, and then call its print name function. What could go wrong? If I run the program, it actually crashed. And if we look at the calling stack, it crashed at the point where the print name function is called. So what happened? Let's analyze what has happened with this line of code. What happened over here is actually different for C++11 standard and for the older standard. Today we'll mainly talk about the older standard, and in the future we'll cover C++11. With the older standard, this simple line of code actually involves three operations. Step one, this person George is constructed. Step two, a copy of George is saved in the vector persons. Step three, this person George is destroyed. There are a couple things that we need to pay attention to. First of all, this person George and this person in the vector are not the same person. They are identical, but they are not the same person. They are different objects. One person is a copy of the other. And secondly, when we make a copy of this person George and save it in the vector, we are making a shallow copy of this person George because that's what the default copy constructor would do so as a result of that this person George's pointer p name and this person in the vectors pointer p name are pointing to the same object of string and lastly this person George is a R value which means it will be destroyed at the end of this statement. And when the person George is destroyed, it will call the destructor and it will delete the object that is pointing to by the p name pointer. And as a direct result of that, the person in the vector whose pointer p name will be pointing to a deleted object of string. So when we call the person in the vector's uh, print name function, it will access an object that is already deleted. That is why this program has crashed. So what should we do with this kind of uh, class? 
there are two solutions that you can use. Solution number one is define copy constructor and copy assignment operator for deep copy. So here let's define a copy constructor. Right hand side value and we'll make a deep copy. And since we need to access this private data member, so we need to provide an accessor to the data member. And we should do the same thing for copy assignment operator. And this one should also do deep copy. And now, if we run the program again, it ran through OK. And a second solution for this is delete copy constructor and copy assignment operator. And we can do that by making the copy constructor and the copy assignment operator private functions so that nobody else can use them. And better yet, we can remove the definition of these two functions so that even the person's children and friends cannot use these two functions. So now we have two solutions, solution 1 and solution 2. Which one should we prefer? Personally, I prefer the second solution, delete the copy constructor and the copy assignment operator. If you think about it, there's rarely the case where you have to define a copy constructor and a copy assignment operator. One common place where you want to define these two functions is when you are working with STL containers. STL container requires their containee to be copy constructable and copy assignable. But we can easily work around this by saving an object's pointer in the containers instead of the object itself. And when we push back, we push back a pointer of the person. And when we call the print name function, we use the pointers syntax. And of course, we need to remember to delete all the objects later on. So this will work as we expected. However, even though we can live without the copy constructor and the copy assignment operator, Sometimes we do need to make a copy of an object. How can we do that if we don't have these two functions? We can define a clone function. So this clone function will return an identical copy of this object itself. You can find all the places where the copying has happened by grabbing the function name clone of all your code. The problem with copy constructor is it is making the copying implicit. The copying can happen implicitly when an object is passed as a parameter to another function or being returned from another function. And implicit copying is oftentimes the place where the bug is introduced. So our solution too is delete copy constructor and copy assignment operator and define clone function. So in summary, anytime you have one object owning another object through its pointer, like this, you have to do one of these two things. 
First one is define copy constructor and copy assignment operator for deep copying. And second one is delete the copy constructor and copy assignment operator. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and check out the other videos I have. See you next time.